Welcome to Through the Portal. I am joined by Ridge. This is our new series here on the Rising Empire uh, YouTube channel for now, uh, where we take you through the portal, show you the other side and what we've got in store, what we're currently working on for all things Alpha Clash and Rising Empire. What's up, Ridge? Oh, just enjoying the snow in Iowa. Getting hit with some snow he just right face now. He FaceTimed me before this, and we, we live in very different places. I am wearing a t-shirt today. It is very, it is not, not that cold. Um, but I'm all the way in LA, Ridge in Iowa. And, and yeah, this is, this is something we feel like the community needs. Uh, it's something we want to invest in uh, to give you guys as much insight as we can as uh, the developers of this game that we all know and love. Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to share some of what's going on behind the scenes. You know, I, I know as a team, we work really hard and we kind of put our heads down and we don't always share what's happening because so much is going on. And I'd like to be able to tell people what's going on sometimes with what, you know, we've all got happening. Yeah, so make sure you subscribe and stay tuned because we're going to share stuff on this on this series that might not make it in an email or a Instagram post or uh, Discord. So we're, we're going to try to make these these uh, pretty pretty uh, fun filled and uh, you know you just might see some spoilers that you wouldn't see other places. Uh, and we've got we've got one for you at the at the very end of this video. We're gonna show you uh, something super exciting. So make sure you watch the end. Yes, I'm a YouTuber. And I know how to get that retention up. Um, but I think that's kind of the the quick recap on what we're what we're hoping to accomplish with this series. Uh, so Ridge, let's just like move into. Right now we're we're in January of a new year. Uh, what are we What are we currently working on? What do we cur currently got? Uh, yeah, in in the works for for Alpha Clash right now. Well, I just feel like December and January together were so busy because we released Clash Grounds, we uh, started shipping Year of the Dragon, uh, we you know started set three production, uh, we started working on the board game. Uh, we wrapped up, you know, testing on set three and just button everything up with the production side of things. Uh, and then we're ramping up, um, you know, the entirety for the entirety of 2024. So uh, with the board game, the TCG, you know, Year of the Dragon, set three, Clash Grounds, all those things happening. Uh, it's been super busy on this side. Yeah, and and the Kickstarter, we're, we're getting ready to fulfill the Kickstarter. Right, for the book. So yeah, there, there's a, there's a lot there's a lot of stuff happening right now. Uh, Year of the Dragon draft boxes have have started shipping right to distributors. Yep. All They're right. And then we are waiting for a few more products to make their way to us uh, to fulfill the Kickstarter for the books, uh, including the books. Right. The books are are in limbo right now. Don't worry. They're yes. gonna make it, but they're currently in inspection or something. Yeah. Basically, we have almost everything except the books. <laughs> uh, to start fulfilling the whole, the whole reason we did the whole Kickstarter. inspection yeah exactly and they're just getting looked at so uh we should we should have those i would think uh end of january beginning of february got it well that's so that's exciting for everyone to look forward to you'll be getting uh what were some of the so you'll the books the all of the uh bookmarks stickers promo cards if you got those those higher tier uh tiers the the uncut sheet and the numbered cards I am very excited to get some of that stuff. And I am one of the owners of this game and I paid for the highest tier because I needed one of those numbered uh, uh, Alpha Asters. So I'm very excited to to get my shipment uh, with all of you also waiting. Yeah, no no special treatment for the owners. There was no like, oh, there's a hundred and then we print it to extras. Yeah. It's like, no, there's, there's a hundred. Owners don't yep. get, you know, <laughs> if you want it, you gotta buy it. Um, so for me, I have I have them now, but I won't have them soon. Yeah. Um, cool. So, what else? What else is new? What else can people uh, look forward to? Like, I think this is a good time to start the series because it is a new year. Uh, so, let's just talk of like quick, quickly about uh, the roadmap. You know, we 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 released our roadmap to the public, but let's just talk about just the year of 2024. What all do we have going? If if, if someone is not tuned in to all of the emails or updates, uh, do a quick rundown of everything Alpha Clash that is happening this year, Ridge, because. I would forget something, and I, I know you've got this on lock. Yeah, so uh, at the bird's eye view, you've got book, board game, comics, and TCG, you know, the four main products. But then within that, you know, go for, going from the beginning of the year, 
Uh, the books will ship out. So everyone will have the 500 page novel uh, in their hands, you know, February, March, depending on how the shipping and shipping times go. Shortly thereafter, Year the Dragon will launch uh, on March 15th. Yep. Right after that, the comic book for the kit uh, will be on Kickstarter, and that'll be really focused on the comic book. Uh, the script and everything is done. It's in production. The covers are getting done. We've got amazing artists, uh, and I'm really excited. I mean, Al did such a good job. I don't want to spoil anything about the comic yet, but some fan favorites are in the comic book. Uh, <laughs> so if you're yeah. looking for a, a good read, funny, action uh the comic has it okay and are we allowed so, to, are we allowed to say who the artist is for the entire comic uh yeah we can we can tell people what's going on so it's kyle petchock so you will know kyle from uh set two set three and beyond uh, one of the but favorites kyle, of set two. Oh, just amazing <clears throat> has done a lot of different work he's he's done haven and pestilence and other cards uh and characters but he'll be doing the comic we loved his look and aesthetic and we had a vision for this story and this arc, and so Kyle fits it perfectly. Yeah, very excited. Very excited for that. And I also, with the book Kickstarter, some people are going to get uh, our graphic novel for the first time too, right? Yep. Some so we people. have the graphic novel, you know, 140-page graphic novel, which pretty much tells about the first third of the book in an expedited fashion. Now, we re reworked some of it for novel form, um, yeah. but... You'll be able to get that. And then the people that got like the monochrome portal and the monochrome, you know, special edition cover, that looks really cool. A uh, holographic, like monochrome graphic novel looks amazing. So looking forward to that. So once we get past uh, Year of the Dragon and the book and the comic Kickstarter, that's all in Q1, then yeah. we're going to shift right into uh, Level Up Expo. And also the Clash Ground, so Clash Ground in Las Vegas, Clash Ground in the Philippines. I believe it's in Manila. Uh, we'll, we'll be announcing yep. that. But uh, we've got two Clash Grounds that kicks off the organized play season. You know, the 25000 uh, in, what, prizing in Vegas with 10000 cash, I think is what yep. it is. Yeah. Oh, wait, I just thought of something. Can I spoil something for this? Can we, can we pop up one of the prizing cards? Oh, um, or no, we might, can, we, we might say no, <laughs> we might, let me, if, if, if we if do, it just pops over my face. Just, you know, if whatever. we do, it's, we spoiled it. If not, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> we have, I'm going to, guys, you know, have to, guys, I'm going to be pushing Ridge to spoil as much stuff as we can on this, on this series. So I'm, I'm going to try, I'm, I'm in your corner. Don't worry. Uh, uh hope, hope, just hope, comment something, say, Ooh, ah, if we, if we uh if we did spoil that so uh you know we've got the clash ground weekend level up expo is going to be huge just as as an expo a convention overall yeah but also on top of that we've got you know the tournament going on we've got the pre-release tournament and the constructed so people that want set three a month early you'll be able to play in the pre-release event and start to see i mean what set three is all about uh, we haven't announced, you know, a whole lot of details about it, but man, I'm excited for set three for many different reasons. Uh, and then the constructed, we'll get to see how the meta shakes out. You know, as a development yeah. team, we have an idea of what that looks like, but, you know, putting, you know, hopefully tons and tons of competitive players in the same room and duking it out and see what shakes out as, you know, the meta, uh, it, it's going to be exciting to see. Yeah. And just, just to reinforce that uh the let the dates for that are april 26th right 26 27 28 i believe yep. and set three does not release until may 31st right yes yep so you will get literally product in hand a whole month before everyone else uh it's our first big event so if you have not signed up for vegas if you if you know you should compete but even if you don't want to compete come uh be part of this really important event for alpha clash because I, I i believe this is gonna be the first like the first big event to kick things off really show ourselves in the in the competitive world and uh to do that we need as many people and as much support as we can so if you can make it happen come out to vegas and uh, be part of that event because i think i think it's gonna be epic yeah it's gonna be huge we'll also have 
On top of that, we'll have a Level Up Expo promo card that we're handing out to people that just stopped by yep. the booth. Um, so I can't wait to spoil it's that. It's right man. here. Oh, dang it. Okay. <laughs> Here, I'll do that. Block it. Okay. Um, but yes, so Level Up, huge. Shortly after Level Up, May 31st, set three launches. Uh, and then we've got another comic that's slated to go on to Kickstarter in the summer. Uh, and then we've got board game that hits in the fall. We'll also probably go with Kickstarter on that. Uh, and the board game I'm super excited for. It's been something that we've worked on um, quite a bit over the past about year, year and a half. And we just kept molding it. It was pretty much like Play-Doh. You know, we knew what we wanted, been working on it as we could, molded it to the point to get it out to our testing team. And then now it's really taking shape. Uh, so we are in, you know, pre-production mode for that and in tandem with the TCG. And it's important for, you know, fans. The TCG won't, you know, take a backseat to the board game and the board game won't take a backseat to the TCG. Those are going to be two individual products that are going to be great on their own. So if you're a board gamer, it's going to be a standalone awesome experience. If you are a TCG fan, that will always maintain its, you know, awesome playability and artwork and things like that. And if you just love Alpha Clash, you're going to want both. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I'm excited for that. And then we've got a uh, set four that will launch in the fall as well. Now I skipped over, we've got a summer clash ground, a fall clash ground, so three clash ground events that are gonna take place in the US and Asia. So uh, make sure you're paying attention because it's gonna be pretty much April, roughly June, uh, and then uh, just shortly after the launch of set four for that. Pro Tour end of the year, uh, Draft Box 2 end of the year, and then we'll wrap up you know, season one for Alpha Clash Organized Play in you know february of 2025 so it's crazy to think that far in advance but the way that part of it you know everything has been just flying by i'm not going to be surprised you know just being at nationals like wow we're here already uh because just a year ago the kickstarter for the tcg fulfilled now the super cool part about that is is we've seen other projects in general take that long to fulfill but we fulfilled ours we launched it worldwide through distribution we did set two we did the book we've got draft box pretty much all within that same time frame right so i, th I think we are breaking the stereotype of a, ki a kickstarter tcg right like there, there was i knew coming into this there's a connotation to it and anytime we talk to game stores or anything like, you know saying we launched on kickstarter there there is a a connotation there's an asterisk that comes with that unfortunately uh it, it we stand by how we did it we think kickstarter is a great tool that's why we continue to use it uh but i do think we've done such a good job of proving we are not that tcg that people come that comes to mind when they think kickstarter and, and i'm not trying to call out anyone in particular i'm just saying kickstarter tcgs have an unfortunate track record of not lasting for the long haul and i think we are we are we are making it clear that we are not a flash in the pan we are we are here to stay yeah and you know one mo motto that we as a team always say is if, if we're going to do something we do it right uh and that goes from you know the product itself to the gameplay to the quality to you know the fulfillment process like everything's just got to be done right so um, you know, we use Kickstarter for things like books, comics, and board games moving forward, not for the TCG moving forward. Um, so we're just excited to continue to expand the Alpha Clash lineup. And then hopefully as Rising Empire Studios continues to grow, it's not just going to be Alpha Clash. We'll have a whole team dedicated for Alpha Clash and then whatever cool ideas come up, you know, as the company continues to grow. Exactly. Cool. Well, that's the year. And this is, this is a little bit of like uh, housekeeping, just kind of keeping everyone in the loop uh and you know i think i think moving forward these these will be a little bit deeper into what we're going what we've got going on uh but i think this first episode we wanted to make sure we were just kind of seeing what's on the table for the year this is the first episode we're in january so just kind of a lay of the land for for everyone of what we've got going um but i think let's move on uh i think the next thing i wanted to talk about was something that, that an idea i came up with uh for the alpha clash community I am a full-time YouTuber. I have been a content creator for uh, seven, eight years. So I've always appreciated all the people that make content around uh, Alpha Clash. And I wanted to do something starting this year where we have a, 
uh, creator of the month, a, a, uh, an award, a prizing uh, for someone that is passionate about Awful Clash to the point where they are dedicating time and effort into making videos, posting them online. And I think it could even be someone who's just a, a supporter online too. You might not be a creator, but just, you know, you are our, our cheerleaders on social media because as we're starting, as we're, uh, you know, talking to different companies and brands and, and, you know, they're looking at our social media. So it's really important. Uh, and so we appreciate all of you and the first creator we wanted to highlight, uh, oh, I assume you've seen him. You love him. Uh, J crane. Let's, let's just start a, a slow clap for Bryant. Uh, he has been, I mean, has maybe posted more alpha clash videos than alpha clash has. I'm not, I'm not totally sure. Uh, and he's hilarious. He's very passionate. And, uh, as our first winner of uh, creator of the month, uh, Jay Crane will be getting a, a booster box, and we're also going to give him a staff promo. We have uh, these promos that we made up uh, just for our our staff and um, some of the people helping with the game. But uh, if you are going to the extent to which you are helping spread spread the word of Alpha Clash, you are you are on the team. Uh, so we wanted to. Uh, honor Jay Crane with that. So thank you, Jay Crane. And, and thank you to everyone who's making videos. Uh, we'll feature a new person every single month and uh, we'll, we'll, we'll shout them out on other social media, but also uh, make sure we do it here on uh, Through the Portal. So yeah, yeah, Jay Crane's been super entertaining. Uh, always killing it with the content. I always laugh. Uh, even I, even before you know, I knew who he was. I think people would send me the videos like, this guy is amazing. Uh, and then yeah. when we were when we were at PAX, like so many people came up to me like, oh, oh I know someone who loves this game. It's Jay Crane. Like every, he's just, he's known as the Alpha Clash guy. So we love that. We want to support that. Uh, and then just on, on the topic of social media, like every, I, I know it doesn't, it seems like nothing to you guys, but just as someone who's done this for a living, like every like and comment and share truly helps you know like that that's how these algorithms work if you don't like even if you're a big fan you don't like then you're not going to get served the next post and then pretty soon we'll have no views and no engagement on our post so if you follow us on instagram twitter facebook whatever it is uh you know do what you can drop a like drop a comment doesn't need anything crazy drop a little fire emoji whatever it is uh that, that really helps as the person running the social and as someone that's done it for a long time that stuff does matter so thank you and uh, that's my public service announcement for uh the social media of alpha clash speaking of actually we'll go, we'll go we have we're gonna do q a's on this on this show as well we kind of did a last a last second post for this first episode um but we'll probably ridge i think we should probably create a, a discord uh a separate discord server for the like, or room room for um just for questions for the series but have a couple i just had a couple from twitter right before we hopped on uh first from sergio uh ridge what color are you most looking forward to in set three set three i would say black okay black for set three um you know, we announced in set three or with the announcement of set three that the discarded affiliation is going to get more support. If you played the game, you've seen set one and set two cards uh, for the discarded. So super excited for that. Cool. And the same person asked, will we have a presence at PAX East? PAX East is the one we were just at, right? Yes. Should be Philadelphia. PAX, PAX Unplugged. Um, so. And we will be at PAX Unplugged for that. If, if that is the same thing, I believe it is. Uh, we'll be at Origins, Gen Con, Gamma, Level Up, PAX, at least those this year. Cool. Uh, other Second question is from Logan Brooks, Poke Wolverine, for those who don't know. Uh, what are the top three milestones or goals the Alpha Clash team is working to achieve in this year? We kind of we kind of talked through that. I think some of those, some of that roadmap also probably aligns with our goals. I'll, I'll start by saying uh, a successful Kickstarter for the board game is definitely one for the team, right? Like we, we, are, we are, we are, yes, we are our flagship product right now is the trading card game. Uh, but we, we believe we have a really great game. And I think to see the, the community, both our community and also just like the board game community, hopefully embrace this game, I think is a, is a big goal. Yeah, absolutely. I think that that's really important. Uh, I think that it's really important that we establish ourselves as one of the top you know, TCGs. And I don't mean, you know, top three, but really just one that is going to be around for the long haul. Um, and so along with that, another kind of secondary goal or, you know, whatever it is, 
is that the organized play is done well and that we have a really competitive game and a competitive circuit. And I'm just looking forward to that side of things. That's all. That's all for now. Those are the two tweets we got in the last <laughs> seven minutes since I tweeted it. <laughs> but we will we will continue to ask your uh, answer your questions here on uh, on this series. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Yeah, probably Discord, and we'll probably post on on social about it too. Um, all right, Ridge. What's what's next? What do we? What else do we? What do we have to end on? I still have the spoiler that I want to spoil for the end of this. I don't know if there's uh, much more to cover, other than. You know, we are super excited for 2024. I mean, it's just such a big year. Uh, we we want to establish ourselves as really a, a franchise. You know, there's a reason why Alpha Clash is more than just a game. It's a story. It's, you know, a, a book, a comic, an upcoming board game that we can't wait to show off, like, what that is. Uh, and the TCG. And then hopefully more. We have, we have big goals that really coincide with the whole uh, franchise itself. And I just, man, I really can't wait to get these new, I want to get the book into people's hands. I want to get Year of the Dragon out there. I can't wait for level up, which means set three, which means the next Clash Ground, which means the next comic, which means, you know, like, yep. it's just going to roll all year. Yep, it's a lot. Um, but we're glad you guys are here for the ride. I guess comment on this video. Like, What, do you, what else do you want to see us discuss, dive into in future episodes? And uh, we'll do the best we can to do that. So I, I will end with this. I teased at the beginning. Uh, we have, I'm surprised Ridge has let me do it, but we, we have a working uh, cover art for the board game. It's not even complete yet. And we're going to show you just a little tease uh, for the board game. Uh, and here it is. Wait, wait, wait. I thought we were going to show <laughs> something else. Is that it? That's it. it. Oh, okay. You okay with that still? It's there. It happened. I don't know. Can I <laughs> I, nope, I, reach over years. I edited it in. Okay, cool. And then the other thing is uh, some of our miniatures for the, for the board game. Uh, we are just getting some of these uh, mock-ups now. I don't even know how that whole process works. I just get text messages from Ridge, and I say that looks really cool. But here are some of those. So the board game is going to look really great. Uh, very excited about that. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hey, Ridge, just be, I've said it uh, probably 5,000 times in my life. Why don't you say subscribe? Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to this nice. video if you want to see like, more like through the portal. Cool. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thank you.